Today we've got a quick demonstration of what's possible when it comes to 3D model generation and full 3D structural scanning using drone aerial data. So by now everyone's pretty familiar with uh, an overhead view of the sites, so uh, let me just turn off the drone data for a second. If you're looking at Google Maps or Bing, uh, you're used to f navigating to a site and zooming in, but you get to a certain level of detail in it and it all gets pretty blurry. Uh, we can just make out the line markings there on the uh, running track. Uh, the bigger problem with this though is that we don't know when this data was captured so it might not even represent the um, current state of the site today. If we turn on the drone data though, uh, we know exactly when that was captured and you can immediately see that the detail and the clarity is, is starting to pop out. Even at this distance we can see the lines on the running track but if I zoom in uh, you can even see the numbers in between the lines and I can just keep zooming in and in and in and you start to even get a feel for what the, the texture on that surface is and see individual stains and marks and the condition of the paintwork. So it's very, very high resolution data. Um, the thing that we're uh, wanting to show off today though is that it's not just about this uh, top-down view, but it's possible for us to capture any uh, buildings and, and structures on site as full three-dimensional models. And after we've captured that, uh, it's then viewable very easily online in a standard web browser so that uh, any stakeholders can conduct a, a virtual site visit. So if you're uh, wondering about something or concerned about something on site um, or need to take some measurements, uh, you don't have to go to site anymore. You can uh, just look at the virtual model um, and if there's a, a new design um, coming for a, say a building or a new facility here, uh, you could drop that initial concept design into place, uh, look at it from all angles, see how it sits in, uh, in situ in the site, and uh, that way all the stakeholders can uh, see what it looks like, give feedback and, and get that buy-in for your project. If it was then to progress uh, to a final design, uh, then all of this very high resolution and, and very accurate data can be passed to the architecture or uh, engineering firm so that when they are producing their final designs, uh, everybody can be sure that that's going to exactly uh, match in with uh, what's already on site. Um, the other thing about this uh, whole site capture in this manner is that the data can be very useful and very valuable uh, later on down the track. So for example we might have surveyed this for uh, something up this end of the site and then um, in a couple of years time uh, somebody uh, realizes that they want to redesign the building in the, the field at the far end of the site. Um, if we zoom in here you'll see it loading in more and more data as we get closer. Um, you can see that even this uh, little building right up the other end of the site is, is likewise uh, captured in um, very, very high resolution data. And so this can be passed uh, to an architecture firm. They might design us a new awning here, which uh, perfectly integrates in, in with that existing building. So this site is about 100 hectares in size, um, and at this level of detail, uh, it's about a centimeter and a half uh, resolution, um, we class this as a medium scale project. We do survey areas up to 5,000 hectares in size, uh, but generally not to this uh, level of detail or, or as uh, 3D structures. Um, so that's a medium site, and if I just zoom out now, um, you can see that we're in uh, Western Sydney. I'll just uh, scoot around the M7 and go check out a, um, a subdivision here that's uh, in mid-construction when we did a survey. So you can see over on this side of the site, uh, these houses are, are already built. And if we uh, zoom in and, and have a look around, you can see the uh, contractors here seem to be putting the final touches and the landscaping and, and so on. Um, the reason for this survey though is uh, the client was very um, keen to, to validate uh, the final construction of these drainage basins against the original design to ensure that uh, if there's a, a lot of rain and the water coming through here, that everyone stays dry and uh, above the waterline. So if we uh, zoom in just to show off some of the, the detail of the 3D structure, um, you can see individual rocks and caterpillar marks. And um, so this, this model can be validated uh, against that original design. And if there's any deviations, uh, either they can be rectified or um, this current or, or as-built model could then be run through the hydro simulation to, uh, in, to validate that, that it still does the right thing when it comes to uh, pushing a lot of water through here. Um, and it's not just the terrain and the, and the earthworks that we're able to, to verify here, but with this level of detail, we can zoom right in and, and do an inspection of any of the, the built structures as well. So just have a quick look around this culvert here and, and see that it's uh, as we are expecting. Um, and if we had a design file, we'd be able to uh, drop that in here and see if there's any discrepancies. But uh, just for the moment, I'll um, take a quick measurement. So looking at the design drawings, I can see that the head wall here is uh, four meters long. So I'll just do a quick measurement and um, 
indeed that's come out as uh, exactly uh, four meters there so um, yeah just great for again doing a virtual site visit looking around for your own purpose but also once that data is captured uh, it can be used for all sorts of other purposes so um, say for example as a site safety or compliance person that's interested in in uh, just keeping an eye on the contractors and the, have a look around the work yard here just make sure that everything's tidy there's no safety issues uh, for example, the, the fencing is uh, in place on, on this side, which is really important here because if we have a look, you can see cars in the driveway and bins outside. So there's obviously people living in those houses. Uh, so we've got to be sure that uh, everything is kept uh, nice, safe and tidy. Um, we can also look across the street here at these new subdivision lots, which look like they're just about to go to auction. So we could uh, measure those up and just validate that what's about to go under the hammer is um, exactly what people are uh, expecting. So that's uh, the next sort of size and, and level of detail up and uh, for a final example we'll jump over to a single structure. Um, this one we used as a, a bit of a test in turning the knobs up to 11 and uh, just seeing what sort of detail it's, it's possible to, to capture. So uh, this is an old uh, cottage, it's obviously seen better days, um, you can see some holes in the, in the boards and debris on the roof, you can see each individual little uh, dent in the corrugations and the wood piece that's uh, fallen off the eaves here. So um, yeah, just any aspect of this uh, structure um, you can see in, in very, very high uh, detail. So if we zoom right in on the roof, um, you can see you know bits of lichen and um, you can almost feel the, the what that rust would, would feel like to, to run your hands over it. Um, you can see on the, the roof uh, panel fasteners, you can actually see the, the screw heads there. So this is uh, millimeter level detail. And uh, being a 3D model in this way, it's very intuitive for anybody to look around. Again, just in a, in a standard web browser, you can just click and drag and, and look at whatever it is you, you want to look at. So um, we'll just zoom in here and have a look at the lead flashing at the bottom of the chimney or um, the uh, mortar and the, the brickwork here, which um, seems to be in uh, better shape than the rest of the <laughs> house. Um, so yeah, just uh, very, very high resolution data and, and very, very accessible for everybody to, to have a look around. Uh, the final thing that we uh, get asked about is um, it, it looks pretty, but is it accurate? And so in this case, uh, you can see the detail down to that millimeter level. Um, we'd say this is about uh, 10 mil accurate as well. So it's um, definitely suitable for final design work, uh, depending on your purpose. And uh, we can fit that detail and the accuracy to uh, the requirements. So um, we can survey a 5,000 hectare area at this level of detail, but it's going to be very, very uh, expensive <laughs> to do so. So uh, we tend to do large areas at a, a low detail or small areas and specific structures like a, a bridge or a building or a tower, um, uh, particularly for the engineering firms at, um, at very, very high uh, resolution and accuracy. So hopefully that's given you a um, a good overview of the what's possible with uh, 3D data from uh, drones. And um, AUAV is a national drone data provider. We uh, operate throughout the country and uh, we'd be happy to hear from you and uh, have a look at any projects that you're uh, considering drone data for. You can find us online at www.auav.com.au.